Hey there guys, uh, I just have a review for you today on this Tasco Trail camera. It's a 8 megapixel camera. I picked it up for around uh, $45 Canadian. I have seen some uh, other YouTubers showing that they got it on sale at Walmart for about $25 US. Um, so I'm just going to quickly, I have, you know, removed it out of the package, but I'm just going to... Uh, give you an idea of some of the functions and uh, give you an idea of some of the pictures that I got off of it as well. Uh, I did buy some new batteries for it. This is one of the batteries that they're actually recommending that you use. Um, and also I bought an SD card. This is also the SD card that they're recommending. It takes up to a I guess a 30 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte card. And so I'm going to use that since I'm going to be leaving it out for the winter and I'm I'm hoping that uh, the battery capacity and the memory capacity will be sufficient. So I found this uh, really easy to operate. I've taken it out of the box once already, but so here it is. It comes with this uh, lanyard as well, which basically just fits on the back through here. It also has a tripod stand optional as well. Uh, well, it looks like the battery didn't make it out of the box. So batteries fit in the bottom here. Um, you can see there's these little catches on here to open up the camera. And so this is basically a spring-loaded battery pack. There's just a little switch here. I was doing some painting, that's why I've got some paint on my hands here. Sorry about that. There you go, see it's a spring-loaded battery pack. It's taking the uh, double A's, eight double A's. And in terms of uh, where do you put some of the stuff here, the SD card goes here. There's a USB plug-in here, so you could actually read from the you could hook the computer up to this um, trail cam with a card in it and it would act as a card reader and you could read right there okay so what I'm going to do here, you've got three, three uh, possible options here, you've got off at the bottom you've got what they're calling aim in the middle and then on at the top and so aim is what you use when you're trying to set up the trail camera and then on is what you use obviously when you're set it up on your tree or whatever to uh, start taking pictures so I'm just going to put it to the aim position now you'll see card so it's saying card right now because I don't have a card in it and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this card now, when you put the card in you're supposed to have the camera off when you put the card in so it may also say things like full or error. So if you look in the manual here, it could say card if there's no card, or full if the card is full, or error, something wrong with the card. So I'm going to turn it off. It's showing off. And I'm going to put the SD card in. Now I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so see, I, I had it out already, and I'd, I'd uh, done some things to the time, but... So this is the all, the OK button, and then the up and the down button. So it's giving me, now it's flashing 10, so it's giving me the option to change the time, but I like the time, so I'm going to leave that, I'm going to leave that. It's giving me an opportunity to change the month, I'm going to leave that as is. October 14th here, and 2018 gives me the option, I'm going to leave it. Now the next screen here, it's giving you the option for the interval between pictures. So once it's showing 15 seconds here, uh, that's... Since I'm leaving mine out all winter, I'm going to push it as high as it can go, which is 5 minutes. See, so it's going back to 5 seconds as the minimum. But I think I want 5 minutes. Maybe, a, yeah, maybe 5 minutes would be good enough. I'm mostly using the camera here for theft protection. I'm leaving it on my property where I'm not going to be around for a while. So five minutes may be good enough. 
Let's say OK for that. Now it's giving you the option of how many, once it sees something in the camera's range, do you want to just take one picture? Well, let's see the next option. I could change that. And now I'm getting three pictures. Or I could go to video. But since I want to conserve my memory capacity, I'm just going to go back to the regular just one picture every five minutes. Okay, so now ID the camera. So I've only got one camera, so I could change the ID, you know, if I've got two cameras or this is camera two. But I've just got one camera, so that's what I'm calling this camera ID one. Now it's giving me the option to format the memory card. Well, in this case, well, let's go with yes, because it's a brand new card. Let's go here. So now I've got format yes. I'm going to say OK. And... All right, so now we're just back at the time again. So I'm just going to quickly run through those options again. A month, year, interval. Okay, so it looks it looks like it's set set back to the um, mm -hmm, the default. So it went back to the default. It looks like I accidentally pressed because as you can see on the screen here, there's an option. Do you want to format the card, yes or no? And then do you want to go back to the defaults? Yes or no? And so what it, if you say yes, I want to go back to the defaults, then um, it'll reset the, the interval. It won't reset everything. Um, it'll reset the interval capture mode and camera ID to the default factory settings. Okay, so obviously maybe I accidentally, maybe I did that. Okay, well let's go back. I wanted to go say five minutes. Okay, let's go okay. Let's, yeah, let's go with that. ID one. Mm-hmm. Default. Do I want to go back to the factory defaults? I'll say no. Do I want to format the card? This is where I wanted to format the card. Format the card, yes. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Let's run through it again quickly. Twenty eighteen. Five minutes, see? Okay, so now we're back at five minutes. It didn't reset, go back to the factory defaults that time. I did it accidentally before, but now it's set that way. One picture. ID still one. Uh, defaults. Do I want to go back to the factory defaults? No. And since I've already formatted it, I'll say no here again. Okay, so it should be okay now. Should be all set to go. Now if you wanted to uh, start using the camera, you could set this. So it would be into the on position. See, now we're getting a countdown on the camera. You can see it's counting down, so I would put this I'd close it up. Yeah, it should be all set. And I'm going to show you some examples of the pictures that I got when I had it just set up briefly before. Got it set up here on my laptop. Okay. Yeah, so here's a picture I had previously showing camera one, showing the date, showing the time. Has a little Tasco um, icon here in the bottom that's on all your pictures. But yeah, I was pretty happy with the quality. Um, I'll show you. It's just it's just numbering the pictures on the screen. If you can see that, you know, here I've got about eleven pictures, and showing up as JPEG images. So, anyways, that's my review of the camera. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Um, please like, subscribe, comment. 
it worked out a lot better than that other trail camera I had. It was a Wild Game Innovations trail camera. You can see that video on my YouTube channel. It, it wasn't working for me very well. And I, the video has been quite popular. I've got almost 20,000 views on that video now. And I think this is a great... There A lot of people online are saying this is a, one of the best budget cameras out there. And so, hope you liked the video. Thanks very much.